Welcome back to Not So Grand Garage. Today is the day we rebatch the oil that we ran through the 55 gallon per hour PA biodiesel centrifuge. So we're gonna get it pumped out, pumped up to our gravity drum, and run it through the direct drive unit. Um, I'm also gonna go on and pull the rotor completely out of the direct drive unit and get some weights on it because I have not cleaned it out since I ran the first batch out of that tank over there. So I want to uh, clean it out and get a weight on the empty bowl as well. And that will be for another comparison video. But anyways, let's get started. <laughs> So, got this uh, pulled down. As you can, you might be able to tell on video, I'm not sure if you can or not. There's quite a bit of sludge left in the bottom of the drum. And, uh, I'd say that just settled out from heating. That's one of the reasons you don't want to put the, uh, put that uh, bung on the very bottom of the drum. You want some area in the bottom of the drum for stuff to settle out. Uh, so you're not picking up the trash with the pump Anyways, I didn't pull off the bottom. So there's a little bit of oil left in the bottom of the drum. That's fine But uh, I've got our gravity drum full and I've got all the valves shut off and everything. So now I need to pull the bowl out of the direct drive unit uh, Get some weights on it and get it cleaned out So getting ready to pull the bowl out of the uh, direct drive unit and as you can tell, there's there's sludge in the bottom, but there's not a ton. Now this came, this was the first uh, batch out of that tote in the corner. And it's just been sitting uh, for probably a week or two at this point since I ran it through this. So um, yeah, there's not a lot. So this would be a halfway decent comparison versus what... Uh, this unit pulled out versus the 55 GPH unit pulled out. But yeah, I'm gonna get this uh, bowl pulled out of here and get a weight on it as it sits. And then I'm gonna clean it up and reweigh it. Now I've got the bowl removed and now you can kind of see how this setup works. Uh, the drain holes in the bottom of the bowl drain to this inside uh, cup, I would say, which drains out the bottom and that goes down to the uh, that goes down to the sludge bucket. As you can see, there's still some leftovers in here because this isn't perfectly level or what have you. And uh, that's where the motor mount bolts are. But the clean oil comes out of the top of the rotor, gets flung against this wall, and drains down to this hose, which runs down to my clean drum. But anyways, got the bowl out, so I'm gonna get a weight on it real quick and get it cleaned out. Got our scale zeroed out. We want ounces. Oh, and here we are. If you can see that or not, three pounds, 15 ounces on the nose. As you can see, I've wiped this out a little bit. I'm gonna go on and throw it in the ultrasonic cleaner to make sure all the sludge is out of it, and we get an accurate weight on it. Not a perfect fit, but uh, that's okay. I'll fire it up, and here in a little bit, I'll uh, I'll spin it around a bit and get all the sludge out of it. So after 45 minutes or so in the ultrasonic cleaner, there's uh, some residue from the cleaner that's that's in my unit, but uh, yeah, came out pretty clean. So, let's turn our scale back on. Make sure it's zeroed out. And we are at three pounds, 13.25 ounces. 
Now our full weight was three pounds, 15 ounces. And obviously that was after this had been sitting for a couple weeks and all the water and stuff had, uh, had already drained off of it and it ran down to the bucket. So as far as solids and such that were left in the bowl, we're looking at 1.75 ounces after a full batch. So I'll have to go back and check my numbers from the 55 GPH unit. But uh, yeah, kind of interesting. But let's get this put back together. I'm going to go on and wipe out the uh, nastiness that's in the bottom of this. And get it all put back together and start batching this run. I'm uh, really curious to see how much this pulls out of the oil that's already been ran through that 55 GPH unit. Um, I expect to see some uh, because there's you can uh, you'll get more and more no matter uh, no matter how many times you run it. We're not distilling the oil, so we're not going to get everything out of it. Uh, so I'm curious to see how much more it takes out. But yeah, let's get started. So got our bowl back in, got it tightened up. And uh, yeah, pretty well ready to run. I'm gonna go on and get the lid situated back over here. And uh, start adjusting our valves. Now, it is colder out today. Let me step down here. Oh, it's been in the 60s during the day and it's been getting down to the 30s at night, so this oil is cold, so it's going to flow fairly slow, but uh, that's okay. I'm going to crank it up and let it run. It may take longer than a day to run because when it's cold out, that filter slows everything way down. Uh, I probably need to get a little filter wrap heater for that. That'll probably solve that. Either that or delete it from the system, but uh, I kind of like it just to catch any bigger stuff before it hits the centrifuge. But uh, yeah, anyways, I'm going to get this set up and going, and uh, we'll see how it does. Getting everything set up, I uh, changed the wiring around a little bit. I've got, it, uh, got the heater and the motor plugged into this distribution block, which will be ran over here and plugged into our kilowatt meter, just like the last setup was. So we can uh, get an idea on power consumption. So I'm going to go on. And uh, I'm going to go on and get everything flowing a little bit and uh, get the heater plugged in and go from there. So we got oil starting to trickle out up here. So I'm going to go on and lock this down and uh, fire up the centrifuge. With just the heater, we're pulling 1,034 watts, 1,050 watts, somewhere around there. Go on and turn the bowl on. We are pulling 1300 watts currently. So uh, yeah, I'll let it get going and uh, come back and take a look at it. All right, we got oil flowing. The uh, heater's coming up to temp. I've got this set for 200 degrees currently. And we are pulling around 1260 1250 watts somewhere around there so i'm gonna let this run and uh, see how it goes and once this batch runs through i'll come back out we'll get a total kilowatt hour use hmm. mail's here we'll get a total kilowatt hour use and then we will check our bowl and uh see what kind of material we got left well, we're back out here today because uh, this whole process has taken a lot longer than I anticipated. A full day and we only went through half a drum. That's because we were getting down into the 40s, sometimes the 30s at night. And uh, that filter I've got was uh, holding things up. So instead of replumbing everything, I ordered a cheap stick-on pan heater, 150 watt heater strapped to the side of that filter and it seems to have corrected my issues. Uh, 
23 bucks or so off Amazon for a pair of them. We'll see how they work. But so far, oil is flowing at a normal rate again. So, uh, hey, if that solves it, good. We'll see. I'll keep an eye on it. But, uh, yeah, hopefully we'll have this batch wrapped up here this evening. And uh, we'll be able to check out how much more the direct drive unit pulled out of the oil that came out of that uh, pressure-driven drum. And go from there. We'll take some weights and measurements and uh, see see how things turn out but yeah hopefully this gets done because the truck's on fumes well the centrifuge is shut down that drum is finally empty this process took entirely too long this time and because of that filter that nonsense is getting changed I have not liked this since I set it up so this filter's going away before I run another batch I may actually drop this filter head down to the pump side just for giggles at least that way i can pressurize oil through it to fill the drum up and then it will just be a straight shot valve to valve into the centrifuge and uh i won't have to fight this slow nonsense when the, the oil is cold anymore but anyways this has not been resting very long but uh whew, that's hot we're gonna go on and pop the lid and see just how much material is left in this thing but keep in mind this batch was ran through the pa biodiesel centrifuge as well Whew. hot 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 and we have got uh let's see here Let's see here. I'm not sticking my finger down in there because that oil is 200 degrees, but uh, it has not had time to settle off like the first uh, round did, but we've got quite a bit of free water in here that's uh, rising up to the top. Quite a bit of sludge from this batch. A lot of moisture, which uh, keep in mind... This has been ran through the uh, pressure drive unit for 20 hours, and it came from that tote over there, which uh, had been sitting for a year plus, and we're pulling from the top. So we're still getting all this moisture and sludge and nastiness after all that. But uh, yeah. I am going to pull this bowl because this is the last batch I'm going to run on this 3,200 RPM setup, the basic setup. Uh, I will get some weights. I'll move this slide a little bit. I will uh, get some weights on what is left after this has had time to drain off, so it'll be comparable to uh, to the uh, last weight measurement. And uh, yeah, then. I'm going to run a fresh batch through the 6,000 RPM setup, but that'll be for another video. Uh, so yeah, I'll wrap this video up here in probably another day or two when I can uh, get some weights on this and uh, see how much solids we really pulled out. So we've been sitting for over a day now and uh, this is what we've got left. I'm not going to drag this through here too much, but... Yeah, and keep in mind this batch came out of a 20 hour run out of the pressure driven centrifuge, which was heated as well. And all of this had been settling for over a year and it was pulled from the top of the tote. So with that said, I'm going to, uh, with that said, I'm gonna go on and pull this rotor out and Get a weight on it. Okay, we've got our scale zeroed out on ounces. Let's uh, go on and slide this out. And straight down on the scale. We are, oh, that's hard to see here. Let me get some light down here. Four 
4 pounds, 8.4 ounces. Moral of the story, is it worth it to upgrade to a direct drive unit over a pressure driven unit? As far as I'm concerned, absolutely. Um, these units are better at dispersing water, which I'm going to say the vast majority of this is water. Um, which is interesting for all those saying, oh, all you need to do is settle, 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 settle your oil and then filter it off. It'll be fine. That tote has been settling for over a year and we're pulling from the top. I'm not pulling from the bottom where all the sludge is. I'm pulling from the top of the tote. So, uh, yeah, kind of speaks for itself. So I'm going to leave this unit pretty well put together for now. Uh, I'm not going to clean it out yet because I'm going to strip this completely down, swap this motor out for the 6,000 RPM motor and set up the variable frequency drive for it. And I'm also going to vent this, uh, this lid. I did notice uh, today I went through the instruction manual for this unit and it does mention that you can vent the lid and I never noticed that. So that's on me. So I'm going to vent this lid help with, uh, which will help with moisture instead of uh, having it vent out of the top of my drum over here. I'll uh, be having it vent right from the centrifuge. So yeah, I will uh, have a video setting up the 6000 RPM unit or converting the uh, the basic to the extreme I'll do a video on that and then we will do a comparison between this unit here and the extreme model and see if uh, the price difference is worth it or not I've got a lot of changes to make out here before I do anything I'm gonna be moving that filter getting it out of the way and uh, resetting this up like I said before I run another batch which I've got two more batches to make to fill the bus up so I'm going to be doing that here probably this weekend and we'll be pulling the batch, the first batch for the 6,000 RPM unit from the top of that tote too. So everything will be the same. You'll be able to see a good comparison of all the units. So yeah, I'm going to wrap this up here. If uh, you have any comments, questions, complaints, what have you, drop them in the comment section below. If you haven't already, please subscribe. We appreciate you watching.